All right, y'all, I just came in with what turned out to be a five gallon bucket of kale. So I just hold it like so, and I strip the leaves off into the other sink. See, so. Okay, so you can see how yucky my water is. I'm going to pick out these little leaves and then I'm going to drain this, you know, to get the grass out and whatnot. And I'm going to just bounce back from sink to sink until the water is clear. Alright you guys, I found a little friend in here. An unfriendly friend. This little guy is going to eat my leaf. On occasion I'll find one of these little green worms and you just pick them off and smush them. Because they will, oh, come here. He's not wanting to move. There he is. You just smush him. All right, let's see. Yuck. So as I'm bouncing back and forth here, um, I'm checking each leaf. I'm very meticulous about my greens. Um, some people just swish, 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 and they call it good. Um, but if I do that, I've found that these little worms will hang on like that, and I'll miss them. And I just really prefer not to eat them. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt nothing to eat a little green worm, but I just don't want to. <laughs> so. Alright y'all, so I've got everything in my dish strainer here. Um, I, I've got my biggest leaves in here, and then the little ones, or the ones that were like broken up or whatever, that are too little for kale chips, um, I've got in a pot here. And I'm going to add to this as well because this will cook way down. Um, and we'll have this for dinner. And then this, I'm going to make some kale chips and then I'm going to freeze whatever doesn't fit in my dehydrator. Alright y'all, this is what I ended up with. I have one uh, gallon bag stuffed with um, just kale pieces. Most of the little pieces went into this. Um, and I smushed all the air out so that it's thin and this will stack up really well in the freezer. I can pull this out and use it in soups or stews or whatever. One of my favorite things in the beginning of fall is um, a turkey and kale soup with sausage and cannellini beans and tomatoes and it's really good. So that's what I'm saving these for. The extras go in the freezer. And then um, I have a pot here that we'll make for dinner and then this is just a big bowl of the larger leaves. So this is mostly the tops and as you can see it's I mean it's huge and I try to pick the ones that are flat the flattest the really really curly stuff is not going to be great for a chip but this one leaf I can probably make three chips out of so I'll cut it where I or tear it or whatever where I want it and then um, make chips from those <clears throat> all right y'all I've torn up maybe half of it the rest is still in this bowl but um I've poured um, some sunflower seed oil over the top. I usually use olive oil, but I think I want to try it this and see how they taste. You want them to be mostly dry when you start the process. Um, I don't have a salad spinner yet. Um, so I'm just kind of like shaking them off. Um, and that's certainly not the best way, but for now that's just how we're having to do it. And so I'm just making sure they're all really coated with that oil the best they can. And I've done a little sprinkle of sea salt in here. So, um, like pink Himalayan salt would be good, or if you flavor your own or smoke your own salts, so that would be good. Um, and if you want to put like cayenne pepper, or I've done Parmesan cheese on these, that's really good. Um, the oil makes them stick to it. And then, um, what else have we done? We've done Old Bay, just salt and pepper. Today I'm just doing salt and the sunflower seed oil because I want to taste the sunflower seed oil in it and determine whether we really like that or not so I'm just doing something simple today and once you feel like these are um, good and mixed and coated we're going to take them over to the dehydrator my dehydrator is a little funky you can see the fan down in here is spinning it's because I have it plugged in mine doesn't have a gauge on it and it doesn't have a um, like a temperature or timer or anything like that. It just has the fan and it, it's hot air that comes up. 
So I'm going to lay these out, not touching. I'm going to lay them out as far away from each other as possible, but you know, still be realistic. And oh, only four fit, but that's because I did really big ones. <laughs> And you want to leave enough space in between them that the air can still go through the racks real easy. You don't want to make it difficult. Um, because if you put them too close or you fill them up too much, the air won't be able to circulate well and it'll take even longer to dry. So you'll be um, waiting longer on something that shouldn't have taken as long or used as much energy. Eventually I will have an outdoor um, sun dehydrator. I just haven't had a chance to build one yet so we're still using this one for now so I'm gonna fill these up and then bring you guys back all right y'all it's filled up to overflowing the other half is in the fridge I'll have to do those tomorrow because this takes a good six hours so I'll show you guys when they're finished and then I'll put the other batch in all right y'all these kale chips are done it's been about six hours five hours six hours um and the ones on the bottom I, well I stuck them in this bowl this is what I'm going to keep them in um because it's more sturdy than like a ziploc or anything like that and they won't get crunched up so I'm just putting those in my little container there and the the one the ones on the top I've rotated to the bottom oh that's a nice one that one's huge <laughs> And so these are going to go in the container, and then the new set is going to go on these, and I'll rotate the other ones down so that they can, because the, the bottom of your dehydrator is going to be hotter. So, just wanted to show you guys, they are good. We like them. And we like these better than the ones we've done in the past in the oven. They're more sturdy. They seem to be holding up better. They have their, um, their color is more vibrant than the ones that we had in the oven. And they didn't curl up as much. So I just think they're a better chip when we do them in the dehydrator. So there you have it. My day of kale.